Hi folks, what I've got here is the advanced version of the Best Glide ASC Emergency Survival Ration Pack, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So Best Glide ASC actually makes two different versions of this kit. This is the advanced version, of course, and then there's also the basic version that I have right here. So both the basic and the advanced version have this stuff up here and then only the advanced version has this stuff listed down here. So in both kits you'll find the emergency food, the bullion cube, the energy candy bar, two coffees, two creamers, two sugars, two solid fuel tablets, a book of matches and a foil tray, a poly bag slash water bag, water purification tablets, a survival whistle, pencil, survival instructions, snare wire, six hard candies, a survival button compass, and a Fresnel lens. And then only the advanced version has these items, the survival utility knife, the survival fishing kit, the survival matches, a basic first aid supply, and a desiccant. Now as far as prices go, the basic kit runs about $22 and the advanced kit runs about $27. Now since the advanced kit contains everything that's in the basic kit plus a few more items, we're just going to look at the advanced kit today. So Adventure Survival Life, it says copyright 2008 down here, although that's not when this kit was made. I bought this earlier this year in 2020. Now there doesn't appear to be a pack date anywhere on here, at least on the outside. Maybe there'll be one on the inside, but we'll find out. So let's go ahead and crack it open. inside. So let's see what we've got. All right, we've got the instructions here. And it looks like that's it. All right, so before we dive into this, I want to make it clear that this is not a survival kit. It is an emergency survival ration pack. And so the emphasis here is going to be more on food and not so much on survival gear, although they do have some minimal survival gear in here. But it wouldn't be fair to compare this to a full survival kit because that's not the point. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. So first up, we've got the good old mainstay energy bars. Oh boy. So this is the smallest version I've seen. This is the 1200 calorie pack. And in previous videos, I believe we've seen the 2400 calorie pack and the 3600 calorie pack. But yeah, these bars are okay. They taste okay. They're not great, but they're okay. The key is to eat them while they're within the expiration window. So these were made in December of 2018 and they expire in December of 2023. So they're still good. Now in a previous video, I ate a very, very expired pack of these mainstay bars. They were 20 years old out of an old Eddie Bauer survival kit and they were absolutely disgusting, but they were 20 years old. As long as they're within that window, they should be just fine. They're probably fine a little bit after that window as well, just not 20 years past that window. Anyway, so yeah, these were made in December 2018, so I'm wondering, you know, I've had this pack for a while. I might have bought it in 2019 and not in 2020. That would make more sense given the date on the back of the mainstay bars. So then we've got the poly bag here, which also serves as a water bag, a water collection bag. Not bad. And then we've got the survival instructions. And these are probably the fairly typical Best Glide ASC instructions that they put in a lot of their kits, which are not bad. They're just some good general survival instructions. And then right here, we've got this foil pan that's got some stuff inside of it. So let's check it out. First up, we've got the Good Arts Peanut Patty, 2.25 ounces or 64 grams. Manufactured by Good Art Candy Inc, Lubbock, Texas. 280 calories. It's got some peanuts and sugar. So, you know, sugar for energy, 
a little bit of protein, some carbs. Not bad. We'll open this up in just a minute. All right, then we've got some fire gel, and we've seen this before in other kits. Pyro pack. And it's basically that fire gel, you open it up, you squirt it on something, and it just lights on fire. And good way to cook some food or boil some water. Then we've got some more food items. So let's open this up and take a look. So we've got two Taster's Choice Instant Coffees. I use these when I'm camping, they're pretty good. And we should have the two creamers to go with it. Yep, there they are. Enjoy coffee creamer. And you can't have two creams without two sugars, so there they are, Domino Sugar. Then we've got, I believe, six pieces of candy. So we've got three Jolly Ranchers, one grape, one cherry, and one watermelon, and three mints. And we've got a bullion cube, beef bullion. Not bad. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, here's a mini fishing kit. And this is probably the best glide mini fishing kit that they sell separately. Just add it into this bag. So it's got a length of fishing line, a nice little grub lure there, and then some assorted hooks and weights. And then we've got this bag, which has some nice items in there. So let's pull all this stuff out. First, we got a Fresnel lens to help start a fire. We got some snare wire to try to catch some food. Got a book of best glide matches. Not bad. And then we've got some Chlorflock water purification powder. Yep. So we've got three little packets and each packet will treat one liter of water. And here's an Acme whistle from England. These are pretty good whistles. Up next are some Yuko storm matches. Should be 10 in there. Yep. These are always nice to have. And the last two items are a pencil and a little miniature compass, which is accurate. Then we've got a first aid bag here. So let's see what's in the first aid bag. And it's a mini first aid bag, so don't expect much. Got some sting relief. Looks like one, two, three, four band-aids. Acetaminophen, two tablets, two aspirins. And we've got some Metalite tablets, which I assume are meant to give you some electrolytes. Let's see here. Calcium, potassium, magnesium, yeah. Okay, cool. Antibiotic ointment, lip guard soothing lip ointment, sunscreen. This is a great thing to have in any kit, and a lot of times it's left out of kits. It's nice they have this in here, 30 SPF. Here's one more triple antibiotic ointment pack. And then we've got two little butterfly closures. So it's okay. Not the best first aid kit in the world, obviously, but it's got the basics. Here's our knife for the kit, in quotation marks. It's a Dermasafe razor knife. Not great, but not bad. I mean, these are okay. In a pinch, it'll do. Here's the desiccant, which is oddly enough listed as an extra item in the advanced kit. <laughs> and then we've got a Ziploc bag, which can be used for storage or water, I suppose, if you had to. But I would probably use the poly bag to collect water. And then I'd use this to store all the stuff. And then of course we have the foil pan, which can be used to boil water or cook food. Now, given what's in the kit, I would probably at first use this to either boil water or make coffee or use the bullion and some water to make a little soup. Now you could, if you got lucky and 
caught a fish or got even luckier and caught some small game, you could chop up that game or chop up the fish, put it in here with some water and the bullion cube and have yourself a nice basic stew, which would go a long way in a survival situation. All right, let's try this Good Arts peanut patty. Looks kind of good. I'm sure it's sweet. <laughs> sweet and nutty. It's okay. I mean, it tastes just like what it is. Peanuts with a whole bunch of sugar and corn syrup all around them. It's very sweet. I mean, it's okay. It's not my favorite candy I've ever had, but it's okay. And in a survival situation, I'm sure it would be a welcome treat. Hey, Chessie. I think he wants a bite, too. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it would definitely be a lot nicer if I was really hungry and in a pinch. As it is right now, I'm not starving, so it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. It kind of has a weird appearance. It's like this outer shell, and then you've got this interior. It's like this pink color. Very strange. But... It's okay. The more I eat it, the more I like it, which is definitely a good thing. You want it to get better the more you eat it and not get worse. <laughs> Actually, now I might finish this. It keeps getting better with every bite. Yep, okay, it's all gone. So yeah, the peanut patty is good. All right, now the big question is, do I wanna open up the Mainstay Energy Bars? I've already tried these in a couple different videos on this channel, but oh, what the hey. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's not like I don't have a million of these types of rations in my cache. Yeah, same stuff. So you get this white stuff that's cut up into three sections. And like I said earlier, as long as they're reasonably fresh, oops, they should be just fine. And there it is. And yeah, it's fine. These taste like a, like a sugar cookie almost. Like a slightly underdone sugar cookie is how I would describe these. So they're okay. And as you saw earlier, this whole thing is 1200 calories and they've got it split up into 400 calorie cubes. So it's really not a bad thing to have in this kit. It tastes okay, it goes down easy, and it's an easy source of calories. So yeah. All right, so here's all the gear laid out. And if you view this kit in the proper context as a survival ration pack, I think it's actually really good. It's a good ration pack with just some extra survival gear thrown in for good measure. You've got some good food items, beverage items. You've got a way to boil water, a basic way to cook some food. You've got some basic fishing and hunting gear. And you've even got a little bit of first aid gear and a whistle and the compass and so forth. So yeah, I think this is sort of like a ration pack on steroids. And in that context, I think it's very good. Now, of course, because of that context, you're not gonna want this kit to be the only thing you have on you. It's gonna do best when used in concert with other gear. And so for that reason, I think it would make a great addition to a bug out bag or a get home bag or a day hike bag or something like that. And then as far as price goes, $22 for the basic kit, $27 for the advanced kit. I think both those price points are fair and I really don't have any complaints about the price at all. Although I'm sure somebody will, somebody always complains about the price, but whatever, I like this kit. Now, because I already broke the seal on the bag of this kit and I also ate some of the food, I'm not gonna modify this kit in any way or repack it. I'm essentially gonna use this all as spare parts for future projects. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, this is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.